New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago have formed a big city coalition to grease the skids for illegal immigration in the United States. This coalition will push our tax dollars along with big corporate donations towards a greater voting procedure, educational assistance, and microloans for illegal immigrants. They are going full steam ahead with a cloud pivot induced privileged society that is already destroying the American middle class. The NSA tracks the movements, phone calls, and emails of every U.S. citizen. But we can't know where these illegals are as they continue to miss their immigration hearings by 90%. So where are they? Apparently, a growing number of them have been flooding the southeast of the United States. And they are raping the children of these communities at an alarming rate. A spokeswoman for the Davidson County Sheriff's Office said USADA was in this country illegally. Gurau Aguilar faces three counts of aggravated sexual battery of a person under the age of 13. Jacobo Gurau faces one count of rape of a person under the age of 13. Police believe 19-year-old Sergio Perez, an illegal immigrant, attacked the woman in her home Sunday. 418 children were raped by illegals in the state of North Carolina in the month of August 2014 alone. I spoke with James Johnson, the founder and president of North Carolinians for Immigration Reform Enforcement, about the history of his organization and methods needed to document this full-blown attack on America's youth. NC Fire started in 2007, and it came about as a result of me getting injured on the job. As I was going through physical therapy and rehab under workman's comp, I started seeing uh, a lot of individuals who could not speak English that had interpreters with them in the rehab process, in the therapy sessions. And so I started inquiring about, you know, what's going on. And then, you know, the other things you'd see uh, non-American citizen, obvious people at the grocery stores, you know, paying for two or three shopping carts full of groceries with a, a, a food stamp card and then buying, you know, the, the last carts full of alcohol and they're paying for that with wads of cash. And then I started noticing, you know, crime in this uh, newspaper report, crime on this television report here, you know, about Hispanic hyphenated surname individuals creating crimes. Or and, and North Carolina has just not has not been a bastion of uh, hyphenated uh, surname. All these flags, red flags, started coming together, and it just led me to the point where, you know, what's going on here? And I started looking into it. And the more you look into it, the more you find. The effort is to hide it. Um, there, there's no there's, the crimes by illegal aliens are not compiled by any government agency anywhere in the United States, as far as the public being able to access it. So I just decided that you know what I'll start cataloging it in, in North Carolina, and we first started out just listing all the crimes that we could find, and here's how we do it: we just started scouring the, the web. Um, any kind of news reports, police reports. In North Carolina, there are 100 counties. So the first thing I did was go to all of the county sheriff's department's arrest records, and they're all online. Um, and then we started going through all of the, uh, like, TV station websites, uh, newspaper websites, radio station websites. They'll have a crime section there on every one of those. And obviously... Uh, in every county, there are cities and towns and municipalities that have their own police agencies. And so all of this stuff is online, and it takes a, her a Herculean effort to try to compile this stuff. The numbers you're seeing now are not nearly all of it because it's physically impossible for us as an organization with the limited people and resources that we have to, to uh, actually you know, check all of those resources. And so we go through every day of every county of every name from A to Z and pick out the ones that we suspect of being an illegal. And because of the charge, indecent liberties with a child is more prevalent to an illegal or someone from Central America or a uh, you know, Hispanic or Spanish background nation. Uh, now, that's not to say that Americans don't do it, too, however. Um, and the way what we do is once we get the, the court date, it has the arrest record number, the court docket number, and the we take that number and go to the specific county where the person was arrested and get that agency's police report. And on there, it'll say needs an interpreter for for uh, for court 
well, that's a dead giveaway. That, first of all, a person doesn't speak English. Well, then obviously they 99% chance, 99.9% mm-hmm. chance that uh, they're illegal. They're illegally in the country. Now, down at the bottom of all of our reports, underneath the uh, all the court dockets, we have listed the uh, the articles, the news articles that we find with the links to them. And in, in many of those, they will actually say this person is an illegal immigrant or being held on ICE charges. Oh, it's killing us literally and figuratively uh, in the pocketbook. And, you know, I mean, literally, we have people are dying from DWI, hit and run. North Carolina spent, let me get this right, I believe it was $2.2 billion in tax money just to educate incarcerate and give emergency medical treatment to illegals in North Carolina alone uh, in the year 2012. That's the extra tax money that could be going to our citizens that need it, the elderly, the poor, uh, the whatever. Uh, it's, it's, it, they're inundating our schools. They're inundating, inundating our hospitals. Uh, it's a mess. Back in 2006, illegals were responsible for murdering an average of 12 Americans per day and 13 DUI deaths per day. Eight years later, those statistics continue to be swept under the rug as Obama opens the door for total decimation of America's middle class by fiat. John Bound for Infowars.com. <laughs> Globalists have controlled the mainstream media for a long time, but now they're expanding, making the weaponization even more vicious and deceptive. All the major networks are state-run. We are partnering this year with the NFL. The NFL has become a political weapon against the Second Amendment and pushes Obamacare. MSNBC tells us that our children belong to the state. We have to break through our kind of private idea that kids belong to their parents or kids belong to their families and recognize that kids belong to whole communities. The brainwashing media machine has been turned up on high and it's time for humanity to double down on the true people's media and strike back against the tyrants that are destroying our civilization with their lies and fraud we are the resistance you are the resistance you are the info war it is more important than ever to realize that we are not the alternative media we are the true media the establishment dinosaur press is dying we are in an information war and we are losing that war join us at infowarsnews.com and present planet.tv members can share their memberships with up to 11 people by subscribing you will literally be buying war bonds in the info war to expand our operation in the face of the tyrants join us at prisonplanet.tv